Today I want to show you a step card I just made with Mary Ann Design Dies. Um, this is the new Scandinavian House die. It is a craftable die, CR1217. And then here's the bicycle that's new. And it is LR0233, and it's a creatables die. The creatable dies are blue, and the craftable dies are white. And I don't know if you can see that back here in my holder, but I just realized that this morning. It's like, why are some white and some blue? <laughs> but that's why. Um, my step card, I started out by doing the house up with different layers of paper. I cut and embossed it with white and then I glued everything to that white house. The green I did next and then I cut just parts of it and then I cut it out with a steep red and just cut out the roof parts and then I did it in natural and did these parts in natural and then I etched everything with antique linen ink my windows open and the doors open doors I mean door isn't that fun on the inside of the windows for the little curtain I used this craftable die just one of these scallop sections cut it out embossed it and glued it on there the little flowers on the door I used this little die it is a creatables LR0229 die I didn't use all of it, I just used like the top parts. Same for the basket and the bicycle, on the bicycle. I just cut it a couple times and pieced it on there. And then I made these little three stars for the 4th of July. Happy 4th! And I just put those on some wire and stuck those in the basket. So fun. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Then I, um, after I had the house made, I folded a piece of craft cardstock, six by six, and then I um, used my ATG gun and glued the house to that folded lining of the fold up here, and then I just trimmed around it with my scissors, leaving the fold. And then for my step part. I just folded one inch, one, two, three, four, five, a five by five piece of paper and scored them at an inch. And then I just tucked that up inside between the card and the house. I did have to stabilize my steps because everything was leaning back. Oops, so bad. But you can still see that I can still fold it up if I did want to stick it in the mail. So I just made little strips and just folded them real, real easy. Um, oh, they're about a quarter of an inch and then I just scored them at about a quarter of an inch and stuck them, stuck them on there to help stabilize it because it kind of, the tree laid on the house. Um, before I did that. Then the tree I did like I I have a video under my tutorial tab where I did the tree and you emboss it and I cut it in green and brown and on the brown one I cut the leaves off and then glued the brown over on top of the green and so you still have your green leaves then. The fence and the grass and the house and the bird are all Marianne design dies also. And I etched those with um, walnut stain ink. The bicycle I cut out of mirror cardstock 
I guess first I cut it out of black and then I cut it out of silver and then I cut it out of red that's kind of a rusty red and then I just used parts and glued them up but I love it I think it's so cool I love the basket with the stars oh let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you I can't think of anything. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, and I will post links to all the dyes in my blog post. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.